Good morning. This is Stephen, the man with the new hat. This is my summer version. Oh, it's lovely and warm today. It's uh, Saturday the 25th of July. And my night soil has just been cut this last few days. Very recently, in fact. It wasn't done about four days ago. And I've got a guest joining me tomorrow on this soil. And I just thought I'd come over and have a swing on it and uh, see if it produces anything. Um, it is quite a large-ish permission, but the ground is rock hard. It's been baked like concrete. Anyway, I just got my first signal up. So George V hate me. So I'm pretty happy with the way that's going. And uh, I just also want to thank everybody for supporting my channel, even if that means you have just signed up and subscribed to me. Without your help, I could not have made um, my achievement of 2,000 subscribers since I started just over a year ago. And thanks to you, um, I've just received my last three month check from Google AdSense. That's from the monetization of my videos. It was 77 pounds and 44 pence. And I've just put that into my cancer research fund to now take me just a little bit short of £38,000 since I started raising some money for them. I hope to get to £50,000. It's going to take a long while. Um, anyway, at any time through my videos in the future, from now and in the future, if you feel that you would like to drop a pound into cancer research or a couple of pounds or whatever you want, then all you've got to do is to click on that little button there and you'll get this little drop down and you can just donate a pound or two there which will go into my AdSense and then I get paid every three months and I put that into the cancer research too. So thank you for the support if you're going to do so and um, I couldn't do it without you. Anyway, let's get digging. Let's see what else we can find on here today. Right, here we go. A couple of minutes later and I found this. Now, some people will know instantly what it is and some will think what I first thought when I found my first one quite some time ago it does like, look like a mount from the um, Holy Scepter of Nike's Templar. Um, that is the design they used, but it isn't that at all. It's a common shape they also use for the corners of mirrors. So that, in my opinion, is a mirror mount. Well, that's a nice big one. Look at that. Gave a cracking signal. Nice big, um, like, well, it's bigger than a 2P. Nearly as big as a 50P with two holes in the middle. No, that's not a lead button. That's a hem weight. So it was sewn into the hems of various things. Curtains, dresses, that sort of thing to keep them from blowing in the wind. Just found another fragment of a commemorative lead metal type thing. It's the second one I found on there and it's the fourth one I found this month. Up came this bag seal. Well, that's different to what I've been finding the last hour. Hopefully it'll change my luck now. Well I've been going for well over three hours now and I've got exactly 20 cow tubes, all that rubbish and one or two good bits. So considering that every one of those is a hole, I've done a lot of holes this last three hours. It's pretty good going I think. Good morning, this is Stephen the man with a hat and today I'm back on one of my most favourite permissions joined by Mark here behind me whose garret, carrot is really playing up. Listen to this. <laughs> anyway, we've been here just for 15 minutes uh, on the field where I found my um, Tudor merchant's ring. This one. And uh, we've got a few hours before the rain comes in, before we have to call it a day. So we're going to see what we can find. And I'll be surprised if we find anything on this field because I've hammered this one. But saying that, he's found three coins and I've just found a large two ringer bullet. There's loads of these bullets on here. Used to be a firing range over that side, firing into the trees over there. So if you put your detector on the trees, they give you a signal. <laughs> There's bullets inside the trees. And of course they're in the banks as well. So today we're on a bullet mission and uh, we're going to see what else we can find. So we'll catch you later. Phew. It's hard work walking up this hill. I'm only halfway up. Well, not even that. Second target of the day. It's quite quiet in here at the moment. 
there's another two ringer. I did warn Mark there'll be lots of those in here. And uh, today is the first time I'm using my new Hori Hori. Got a lovely new knife for searching. And you can see it's got all the measurements on there as well, so you can measure depths. And it's also got a nice serrated edge. Both sides are sharp. That one's serrated for cutting through roots. So, uh, fantastic piece of Japanese equipment there. Recommend it. Anyway, I'm going to get walking back up this darn hill and uh, see if I can get to the top in one piece and uh, how many more of these we can find. There's Mark slowly appearing over the hill. <laughs> Dying. <laughs> Uh, I've got a model, a modern 2P, and as Mark just said, how did a modern 2P get here in the middle of nowhere, halfway up a hill? Well, there must have been some kids doing a roly poly down this hill because I've just got another 20P, very, very close, six inches away from the 2P. Well, this is lovely because I can show you now the permission without giving away where it is. And it's really lovely. This is one of my favourite permissions. I really, really enjoy coming to this one. The hill's hard work. Still got to uh, get through there and up that hill there yet. Yeah. But I've just found another two ringer on the way up. So that's three I found now. And a modern 2p and a modern 20p. Right, off we go. <laughs> Here comes Mark. I don't think he's lagging behind. I think he's been digging targets. I've just got another half penny up. George V. Hey, a bullet. A bullet. Yeah. Oh, would you believe it? Another bullet. Bullet? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark's on the target. He said bullet before he dug it. So let's see if it is a bullet. Meanwhile, I've got a target here. I'm about to lift the plug. He still hasn't found his yet. Still in the hole. Lead. Lead? Yeah. Well, that's close to a bullet. Pardon? That's close to a bullet. Yeah. <laughs> bullet. Ah, my first silver today. Actually, technically speaking, it isn't silver at all because the date says 1946. Your turn now, Mark. Silver Roman now. Yeah, brilliant. Ten of them. Ten of them, yeah. yeah. Each. They've both got good signals. Well, actually, I've got a good signal. He's got a jumpy one, but he's digging it anyway. So, we'll see what he gets first. Film yours. <laughs> Hot rock. Hot rock, yeah. <laughs> right. I've cut the plug and let's get it out. Oh, it's out. Oh, listen to that. Showing 1991, very high pitch. I'm not sure if I'm excited by that or worried by it. So, live reveal. It's on this corner. Looks good. No, it doesn't. Modern 2P. <laughs> At least I can spend mine, Mark. There's all the bullets I've found today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 now. Well, that's very nice. I've just picked up a lovely musket ball and I'm actually two feet away from where I found the only silver Roman denarius that I've ever found on this permission. So, that's a nice bonus while I'm looking for Roman silvers. Hey!
Well, that's a very young Elizabeth II on a ship halfpenny, 1958. Good. Now then, uh, something in here somewhere, and I wanted to record this one, so it's a really good signal. Oh, no, it's just a thrums. Haven't found a thrums for a long time. Oh, that's super. Now we've been going for a while with not much luck and I've just found a round in the hole but it's very thin. So I have no idea what that was, but it isn't anymore. <laughs> what a funny coincidence. Two gentlemen just went by and said, you won't find gold in them now, reels. So I told them the story of what I've already found on here. And I was just digging a hole and I stopped to talk to him and started again to complete the hole after he'd left. He must have been a lucky omen because I've just found a George III bullhead shilling. Something is wrong with it though, it's the wrong colour and it didn't come up with the right numbers. But you know, it just could be, I have to do the foil test just to make sure, but it just could be a discoloured shilling. So it's badly worn on one side, it's quite smooth on one side, but the bust side is very nice, look at that. So, I'm very happy with that. Mark hasn't found anything yet. There he is. But he's not giving up. There you go, and one minute after that George III bullet, Mark indicates to me, with a fist in the air, that he's got something. Well, I think you'll be able to tell me what this is because I ain't got a clue. Uh, well, I don't think it's a coin. My guess is that that would just be um, a token. Right. A trading token. It was up in about 86, 89. Did it? Yeah. Right, well, proper. Um, I think probably the people watching this would agree that's a trading token. It's the size of a cartwheel penny, but it's much lighter, isn't it? Yep. I, I, I thought it was a cartwheel to start with. Yeah, I would you know, have guessed. Because of the, uh, yeah, I would have guessed that by the size, but the <laughs> weight and the design, and it, yeah, it's definitely not a cartwheel. I think it's a trading token. Right. Well, I've never had a trading token anyway. Like that, so. Well, I'm fairly sure that's what it is. Um, the thing is, there's lots of different ones, so we can't really say it's a particular type. But I've got some writing coming through on there. E N. Right. I bet that'll clean up quite nicely. Mm. Somebody will know. Stick yeah. it on um, one of the groups that we're in. Me and Mark are doing a roundup for the day. I've got loads and loads of junk in my bag. I'm not going to bring that out. And eight golf balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bullets and a musket ball. There's my coinage today, the last one I've just found near the gate, Edward the Seventh Hapney. The various other bits and pieces there, an old threepence, a lovely sixpence, which isn't silver. That one, a possible Roman, going to get an ID on that, if it's possible to get an ID on that. And that, which I am really not sure about, not sure if it's silver or not, it's the wrong colour, it's the wrong numbers, it's gunmetal blue. Now I've never seen a piece of silver go that colour before. Um, I suspect it's a fake, but Mark says he bets it's real. It's real silver. Right, okay. And here's his roundup. <laughs> I think he's going to paint that and hang it over his door. Um, two, three, four, five, six bullets. A trading token, we believe. Bits and pieces. You've got an egg with the eighth as well. I never knew you got an egg with the eighth. Yeah, that was just. Uh... Just coming out of that first field. All right. There's some bits and pieces, and he's keeping the cycling proficiency badge because he lost his. <laughs> so, and this lump of glass, um, like a stopper type thing. So, really, that's it. Include not including all our junk, but we've been here now. It's what uh, 20 to one. We got here about 20 past seven this morning. So, about over five hours. So that's it. We're calling it a day. Me and him. 
and um, he'd like to be invited for a, a dig out with me like Mark was. He's been two or three times now. Uh, all you got to do is to get yourself noticed. You have to be a subscriber and just get yourself noticed. You can do that however you like. You can uh, leave a message, you can share loads of times, um, you can like, do whatever you like. Just get yourself noticed and uh, I'll just randomly pick someone to kind of have a dig with me. So I'll catch you later. Cheers for being with me.